everyone, I'm Ace with Clay and welcome to another sculpting video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. And in today's video, I'm personifying chaos. So just like I did with depression, anxiety, and ADHD, I'm going to create what I think chaos would look like if it were a creature. His name is Pinwheel and he is part of my mutant universe. If you're not familiar with that, it is a series of characters that I've been developing over the past year and I have a whole playlist down below with every single one of them if you want to check it out. And then before we get started, series two mutant universe trade cards are available right now at aceofclay.com. The entire collection features nine brand new cards, including two chases. Again, they are available at aceofclay.com for a limited time only, so grab them before they're gone. And then one more thing before we get started, fellow YouTuber Adam Krudiger was diagnosed with brain cancer. If that name sounds familiar to you, he is a puppet maker extraordinaire, and you've probably seen some of his videos on here. He has an incredible YouTube channel where he creates all kinds of puppets. He makes it look so easy. Anybody can just watch one of his videos and create one of his masterpieces too. Now Adam has been undergoing treatment for the past few weeks and I just wanted to mention his GoFundMe that his family set up for him. It is linked in the description box below if you'd like to contribute. And then here are all his social media links if you want to leave him some well wishes and just let him know that you're thinking of him. Adam, we're rooting for you. We're wishing you all the best and we hope that you have a very, very speedy recovery so you can get back to making puppets as soon as possible. Again, the GoFundMe for Adam is in the description box below along with all of his social media handles. And now without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, let's get started. And just like all the videos from the Mutant Universe, I will be going through this character's entire backstory and lore throughout this entire video. So make sure you watch the whole thing so you don't miss any details. And the first step, of course, is to cover this ball of aluminum foil with some Super Sculpey Ultralight. This creature is going to just be a head with arms and a propeller. You'll see what I mean later on. Let's go ahead and create little indents for where the eyes are gonna go and then get the armature wire in for his arms. And of course, all the tools and materials that you see me use in this video are listed in the description box below, along with my affiliate links if you want to purchase anything. Then once our armature is done, I'm going to bake this, and then once it's baked and cooled down, let's start covering it in clay. For the head, I'm using some Super Sculpey Living Doll. And I just want to start creating all of the facial features now, just sort of roughing everything out, figuring out where everything is going to go before I add my final details. So I've got the eye sockets figured out, where the nose is going to go, and then he's going to have a really, really big grin that extends all the way to the sides of his face. Today we meet Pinwheel, the first of the Intrepids. Intrepids are a classification of fearless, dangerous creatures that travel the mutant universe. They regularly cause problems, destruction, and death. Intrepids are similar to wanderers in the way that they were formed and how they navigate the world freely. Pinwheel many consider as Mangle the Wanderer's brother, given that they both possess similar characteristics. However, there is actually no correlation to their existences. Pinwheel is evil and wants nothing more than to destroy anyone in his path. Now that we're done with his $10 million smile, after a couple more details, I'm going to go in with some thin snakes of clay to create some smile lines that go all the way up there. After blending in that snake of clay appropriately for the smile line, I'm going to go in and start adding a ton of wrinkles with my explorer tool. And I hope you didn't like his nose too much because I end up cutting it off. And we're going to try a couple other ideas for that, giving him this sort of bat nose. I don't like that either, so I just get rid of that too and give him a skeletal nose. Just giving him a little nasal bone here and just a big gaping hole where his nose would be. Like Mangle, Pinwheel was born from the earth as nothing more than a head, rolling around and assembling his body parts one by one, making him stronger with each addition. He created his arms, helmet, and large propeller from scrap metal he gathered along his journey. He can control the movement of each limb and accessory with his mind as any human controls their own body.
after finishing his eyes. As you can see, one's a little bigger than the other one, and I end up closing the bigger one, and I'm glad I did that because it ends up looking better in my opinion. Let's give him some brow lines, a lot of them, and then get those all blended out and everything too. And then at this point, I can't help but think that this reminds me of one of those mad balls from the 90s. See what I'm talking about? And then I'm gonna go in and flatten some things out, smooth some things out, and add a bunch of wrinkles until I just can't add any more. All right, now we're gonna take a quick break to talk about the sponsor. All right, now before we get into the rest of the video, let's take a second to talk about our sponsor, BetterHelp. Is there something getting in the way of your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? I know I've been there before, I know a lot of us have, and I know the importance of mental health, especially when it comes to being a creator and having to make a brand new sculpture every week. BetterHelp will assess your goals and match you with your very own licensed professional therapist, and you can start communicating within 48 hours. It is not a crisis line, it is not self-help, it is licensed professional counseling done securely securely online. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 15,000 counselor network, which may not locally be available in many areas. BetterHelp is available worldwide and you can log in at any time to send a message to your counselor. You will get timely and thoughtful responses and you can even schedule weekly video or phone sessions. And you will never have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches. That's why they make it easy and free to change counselors if you need to. BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life starting today. Visit betterhelp.com slash aceofclay, that's better H-E-L-P, and join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. And because you're one of my subscribers or you're just watching this video, you can save 10% on your first month of BetterHelp by going to betterhelp.com slash aceofclay. Now back to the sculpture. All right, thank you BetterHelp. Let's go ahead and close that other eye. Doesn't it look better like this? I think it does. And now that the face is done, I'm gonna brush on some clay softener over the whole thing to remove fingerprints and give them a little more texture by dabbing the brush on the surface. And then we can come back and finish them off. And once he's baked and completely cooled down, look at how good that living doll clay baked. I just love this clay so much. All right, let's start covering the back of his head, create his little helmet, and then go from there. Now that the base of his helmet is done, we're going to make his arms. I'm going to use some cosplay sculpt to make these so that they don't break. Cosplay stays flexible after you bake it. And I want his arms to look like just a bunch of random pieces of metal that he put together himself to create the arms. It's going to look really random. One arm is going to be different than the other one. His one hand is going to be bigger than the other hand. So hopefully we'll get that whole chaos thing across with this even more. When Pinwheel's body was complete, his true journey began. He may be evil, but he is clumsy due to his poor construction. His propeller casts him in every direction and sometimes jolts him against his will, but this doesn't slow him down as he is extremely fast. His loud, clown-like laughter is heard clearly from a distance, combined with the zipping sounds of his propeller. He is extremely vicious, and if he spots you, he will quickly catch up to your speed and do everything in his power to shred you with his propeller. Now there I just added a little piece of clay for the future propeller to lay on and I'm going to go in and add some lines separating different pieces of metal and then we're going to put a nice pounded metal texture all over that helmet and of course some nail heads. And now that all the clay portions of this guy are done, we're going to go ahead and get him in the oven. 
And once he's baked and completely cooled down, looks pretty good, let's go ahead and start painting. I'm using some more paints for this guy and a couple folk art paints. Let's start with a nice white coat all over his face. And once the teeth and the skin are painted, I'm going to go over everything with this nice dark brown wash. Get it into all those details that I added. The best way to survive a pinwheel attack is to stay still while he's still a good distance away from you. He has poor eyesight in his one open eye, and the less you move, the less he can see you. If you try to outrun him, chances are he is much faster. It's best to run for cover if running is your plan of action. If you are to run into a house, Pinwheel will charge at doors or windows repeatedly, often grinding the structures with his propeller until he either is able to get himself inside or he tires out and leaves. After adding my wash, I just want to go in and add some highlights by dry brushing some more white on the surface. As Pinwheel approaches you, you can find yourself feeling disoriented, dizzy, and nauseous. Your vision may get blurry and you may witness small hallucinations and flashes of light in your peripheral vision. While you're experiencing these symptoms, you must try your best to reorient yourself and decide on a plan of action, whether it's to stay still or run for cover. Now we're going to go ahead and paint all the metal areas black, because metallic paints look best over black. Pinwheel is quite large. His head is 5 feet wide, with his total arm wingspan extending over 14 feet. He is very heavy and can use his weight in a wrecking ball fashion when attacking. Now let's go in and start painting this nice bronze color over his helmet and his arms. Alright, now for his propellers that I've been talking about, I just cracked these off of a toy and I'm painting them to match his body. I did try to make these from scratch, but it wasn't working and it was just better to sacrifice a toy. And it comes out cool. And dry brushing white over metallic paints creates the look of oxidation and age in the metal. So this is a fun little trick that I like to do when I want to make old grungy metal things. When it comes to comparing Intrepids and Mutants, Mutants were created by the Entity and travel the universe doing his will. Intrepids are free creatures, simply getting in your way. Pinwheel is the personification of chaos, complete disorder and confusion. Now I made this little bead thing that I'm going to glue to the wire that the propeller is on just so it keeps the propeller in place, but it's not too snug where the propeller can't move. I still want the propeller to spin. Now let's just paint that. Give it a test. Now say it with me. 
And he's done! Pinwheel is complete. Let me know what you think of him in the comments. guy turned out. I think he's really cool. I think he adds another dimension to the mutant universe. I like how he is kind of related to Mangle, but he's not. And he's just a totally different character than what I've made already. And I really want to know what you think of him and what you want to see me make next. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget the Series 2 Mutant Universe trading cards are available now at aceofclay.com. The link is in the description box below. And then please be sure to check out Adam Krudinger's GoFundMe that is also down below and leave him some love on his social media pages. And as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ace of Clay. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.